Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this secant line as well as this tangent line as you can see in this figure such that this line segment AD is 6 units and now we are going to calculate this line segment AB and this line segment BC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's our very first step let's recall this tangent secant rule and here's the rule this tangent a we can write a times a equals to for this secant this outside is b times this whole thing the total one is b plus c now let's go ahead and apply this rule to this our given problem so our outside is x times this total part is simply x plus x plus 1 equals to this part is our tangent so this is going to become 6 square so before we proceed any further in order to calculate these a b and b c we must find the value of x first now let's take care of this equation on this one we're going to combine the like terms let's go ahead and distribute this one that's going to give us 2x square plus uh, x and let's move this uh, 36 on the left hand side become negative 36 equal to 0 and now we can see that we got this quadratic equation and uh, we can solve it by different methods like a quadratic formula or uh, different ways but I am going to use this factoring technique and this method is called no fuss factoring and this no fuss factoring technique is very useful if uh, our this leading coefficient is other than one so let me show you now how we're going to use this no fuss factoring let's focus on this part 2x forget about this exponent so we can uh, write two parentheses and our this part is going to be 2x and likewise 2x in the second parentheses as well equal to zero now let's go ahead and multiply these two end numbers we're going to create a rainbow so 2 times negative 36 is going to be negative 72 I'm going to write it on the top and over here the middle coefficient x it has a coefficient 1 by default so I'm going to write down this positive 1 at the bottom and now let's go ahead and find the factors of negative 72 and we can see our factors are negative 8 and positive 9 and if we multiply these two factors we are going to get this negative 72 and if we add these two factors we are going to get 1 now let's go ahead and write down these two factors negative 8 and positive 9 right up here and now let's focus on the very first parentheses we can see that 2 and 8 both these numbers are divisible by 2 2 is in common I'm going to divide it by 2 and as far as this second parenthesis is concerned we have nothing in common between 2 and 9 so we're going to leave this one alone so therefore this is going to become x minus 8 divided by 2 is 4 and the second parenthesis 2x plus 9 equal to 0 now let's go ahead and separate them x minus 4 equal to 0 and this 2x plus 9 equal to 0 so that means x value turns out to be positive 4 and on this side x value turns out to be negative 9 divided by 2 and now we can see that x represents the side length and it must be positive so that means this cannot be negative 
So therefore, our only accepted value is x equal to positive 4. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the value of AB and BC. And we know our AB length is simply x and x value is 4. So therefore, our AB value is going to be simply 4 units. And likewise, our segment BC is uh, x plus 1 and x value is once again 4. So BC is going to be 4 plus 1 means BC equal to 5 value. So thus our length AB turns out to be 4 and BC length is 5 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.